In this video, I'm going to go over how to create different types of materials inside Unreal Engine. We'll go over how to create this reflective material, this glowing material, this transparent material, and we'll also go over how you can quickly create and edit your own materials. To create a new material, right click inside of your content browser and select material. You then want to give this an appropriate name, so I'm going to call mine basic material. And if we double click and open this up, this will take us to our material graph. Here in the material graph, we can customize how material is going to look by using some nodes. In the top left, it's going to show us a preview of how material is going to look. So let's design a material. If we go over to the palette, it's going to display all the nodes that we can use to customize our material. I want us to select this constant three vector and just select it and drag it here. If we double click inside here, we're going to see we have this color wheel. Just move this to any color and we can use the sliders on the left and right to determine what color we want this to be. Once you're happy with the color, select OK and just hook this up to basic material. We then want to click the apply button and this will just make sure that all the nodes have loaded. Now we've created a material. We can simply just close this and if I just drag this material onto one of the objects inside of my level, it's going to now have that material. If we head back inside our basic material, we can use this constant three vector node to determine what color our material is going to be. As a shortcut, we can just select the three button and select with our left mouse button to create a constant three vector. If we go back to the palette, every single node which has a shortcut will have a number next to it. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this. Inside our basic material, we can see that we have a few options below, like metallic, specular, roughness, we can adjust the settings to change how our material is going to be. So if we go back to our palette, we want to look for a constant and just drag this in. And if I just hook this up to metallic and I make this constant have a value of say one, my material is going to look a bit more metallic. If I bump this value all the way up to 10, then my material is going to look a lot more metallic. If I close this, we can see that this material has not really updated. That's why when we're working with materials, we just need to click apply and then it will update material everywhere. So now we can see this material looks a bit more metallic. If we hop back inside our material, we can see we have this specular. This controls how reflective our material is going to be. So if I just hook this back into here and we can just click the alt button and select the metallic and this will break the link here. If I make this have a specular value of zero, then my material is not going to be very reflective. So I'll just go zero. And we can see that my material looks kind of plain. However, if I make this value one, then my material is going to look more reflective. So we're going to adjust the specular value to adjust how reflective our material is going to look. The next node we have is the roughness node. So I'm just going to select the alt button and break the link here. And if I hook this up here, we can use the roughness to determine how smooth or rough our material is going to look. So if I make this value zero, then my material is going to not look very rough and it's going to be very reflective and shiny. However, if I make this value something like 100, then my material is going to look very rough. We're going to skip this next node, this Anthropy node, as I don't really use it. And next up, we have the Emissive Color node. We can use this to make our material look a lot brighter. So if I just drag up here, in order to make the Emissive Color node work, we need to look for Multiply. And this will basically get this color, and then we're going to multiply it by whatever this value is. And if I hook this up into Emissive Color, I'll just break the link here we can see that my material will start shining. And if I make this value something like one, then my material doesn't look very shiny. And there are two more settings I want to show you. So if we select our basic material and go to material, we can currently see that under blend mode, it's set to opaque. If I change this to be something like translucent, it's going to change all the nodes that I have access to here. So we can see that we don't have access to the metallic or specular. However, we have access to some new nodes like opacity. And because we set this to translucent, we can control the opacity of our material. So if I just delete the nodes here and I hook this value into opacity. If I make this value something like 0.5 and go apply, we can see that we can now control the opacity of our material. So sometimes we need to just change the blend mode in order to get access to um, different nodes, but I normally just use the opaque and translucent nodes. If I change the blend mode back to opaque, when we edit our material, I've constantly had to change these values and then click apply, and that takes quite a lot of time. There's a quicker way that we can use to adjust our material settings. 
So I'm just gonna press the one button and left click to create a couple of constant values. And I'm gonna hook them up to metallic, roughness, and I'm just gonna press one, and I'm just gonna drag up here and look for multiply, and hook up this value into here, and this into emissive color. So I'm gonna show you a way where we can easily adjust materials and make loads of them quickly. So if we just select each um, node and right click on it and go convert to parameter, just give this a name of color and right click on this one, convert this to a parameter and give this a name of metallic. Right click on this one, convert it to a parameter, give this a name of roughness. We can delete this and just right click on this node convert it to a parameter and give this a name of emissive. Then if I go save and close this, I can right click on this material and it will create material instance. And now if I double click, because we made all those values of parameter, if I just left click on these values, I'm gonna be able to adjust them and change how our material looks. So I can change the color of this to be something like green and I can make the emissive of this 100 and I can just drag and place this material instance here. I can then right click on this again, create a material instance and adjust its settings to be completely different. So we can use material instances to quickly create versions of materials off of the original material that we've made. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.